everybody welcome to uh, the vlog today i'm shooting the vlog from my car um, it's a hot day in in bombay um, and uh, and i'm stuck in traffic i think there's a better time to do it than now because very often when i'm in traffic it gives me some time to watch some videos it gives me some time to time to reflect and i thought i'm going to start using this time also to, to work on the vlog Now, what are we going to talk about today? Today, we're going to talk about um, advice that you often got from friends, family, well wishers, advisors, um, and it's the most bandied around term. The term is "be positive." When I was growing up, a lot of people said that to me. Uh, it was very well-meaning advice, but I didn't really know what to do uh, with it. Uh, so on further further reflection i i came up with a framework a very simple framework that that really helped me in terms of actually being positive and then subsequently i started sharing this framework in my talks and workshops and people have written back um, the, stating that this framework helped them as well so i thought i'd i'd share it in this vlog see whether it helps you in any way now on the subject of being positive i think you can break this into three parts uh, so part number 1 is about past positive So how are you looking at your past are you looking at your past as a a school or are you looking at your past as a burden so many people are constantly living in their past and in turn impacting their future negatively but if you start looking at your past uh, and look at it with with the lens of of learning with the lens of picking what you learned or what was positive about about your past automatically you can use it positively for the for the future so however harsh your past may have been i'm sure there is something that you could learn from them from there that made you the person you are right now so i think it always makes more sense to focus on that bit and use it use it well because irrespective of what you do the past is something that you absolutely can't change Secondly is about being present positive. I had created a another vlog a while back which spoke about what do you need to do on a day-to-day basis to keep yourself positive and motivated. So the present positive is keeping yourself in a good state of mind constantly. Now, um if you don't take the effort to keep yourself in a good state of mind, uh, a lot of people will fall fall into the default mode of of going into negativity. um and that doesn't take too much of effort uh, so so the the whole the whole deal of actually keeping yourself positive and in a good state of mind on a day to day basis that takes a lot of effort so i i shared in another vlog how to do that refer to that for a few tips that there are but to be positive in the present you also need to have um the right kind of mental makeup the right kind of mental models the right kind of beliefs that you have uh the right kind of philosophies that you get really operate with on a day to day basis um to be present uh, to be positive in the present uh, a huge thing is around expectations right so if you're constantly expecting um a, a big deal from the people around you or from every situation you're bound to be disappointed time and again so keeping your expectations off people and situations slightly lower and yet keeping the expectations from yourself high so so those kind of mental makeups or frameworks that is something that can keep you keep you positive besides a lot of the other things i've mentioned in the other blog so what i mentioned just to give you a gist of what i said in the other blog i spoke about um creating the right kind of routines for yourself to stay positive uh, ensuring that you're exercising on a day to day basis the kind of exposure that you give yourself whether it's books videos blogs what kind of company that you keep so a lot of different factors that can help you on a on a day to day basis to stay positive the third part of of being positive is future positive which means your ability to look at the future positively your ability to look at the future from uh, from the lens of being hopeful from the lens of being optimistic um and not always being worried about the future so so many people that i meet are constantly worried about the future and that has a has a very negative impact in terms of how the the future pans out now what is it that you can do to keep yourself uh, positive future positive um i i think the biggest thing that you can do to keep yourself future positive is first concentrate on the present um the best guarantee to tomorrow's success is doing today's job well so if you're constantly worried about the future and not focusing on the present right now and not doing a good job there your future as far as your career and work is not going to not going to be good to start with um the second thing just a few tips here i'm not going to go on and make this video too long but the, the second thing that you can do in terms of being future positive 
um, is is really every time you're worried about the future, don't don't generalize it. Try to kind of identify the specific thing that's worrying you or the specific thing that's a that's a matter of concern to you. So um, when you're if if you're talking about if you're worried about um, your career, so that's that's just too broad a thing, right? Just to say, oh, I'm you know I'm so worried about my career. I'm so worried about where I'm going to be. Instead of making it that macro, kind of break it down to. to say that what exactly as far as my career am i am i concerned about what is it that is my concern and then you could boil it down to saying okay remuneration is my only concern that i have as far as my career it's not really my entire career but just one important part of it and that really helps you um, not to worry as much um, the third big thing that i can give you in terms of being future positive as soon as you identified what your worry is as soon as you identified what you're concerned about um, try to move uh, try to take some action towards that uh, that thing so the minute you start taking even the smallest action in a positive direction automatically your your um, your worry or your concern goes down of course these are three valuable tips but in my opinion um, the most important thing whether it's past positive present positive or future positive is just to be conscious and aware of your thoughts um, i think that is the starting point and a lot of people irrespective of whether it's their past present or future are habituated to be negative it's um, and habituated to either worry or look at the past negatively or be constantly in a in a bad um, state uh, so if you ask me two things uh, be very very conscious about your thoughts where the only species on the planet that can think about our thoughts so we need to use that particular thing well um, and um, uh do that to start think about your stuff and get out of break out of these habits of negativity get into the habit of being positive so just to end this particular vlog one of the things that you can do again is uh, have sm- small milestones for yourself okay so don't think that don't say that oh, i'm going to change overnight and this is going to be the new new me based on this vlog uh, instead of that just take one day to start with and in that one day um, when you're looking at your past at any point of time because those thoughts coming to you would be very very natural when you're looking at at your past give it a positive spin Uh, when you're in the present try to be in a positive state of mind refer to that vlog again and every time you think about the future uh, look at the future from a positive point of view so do that for one day to start with if you can do that successfully for one day um automatically you will you will start seeing the difference then do it for another then try doing it for a week um and the more you do it like that the better it is for you um now all such advice in life is easier said than done right so everything that i'm telling you it's it's not easy to do anything positive or any kind of growth is is never that easy uh, but my suggestion to you is a lot of people do this thing and uh, although it's slightly against our grain it's like it's not something that's easy i think each one of us needs to take the effort to do it because of the positive outcomes that we'll see as a result of it okay thank you very much tell me what your thoughts are on this see you soon